Hi there, it's Nanette from the Metal Embossing Academy and today I've got my son with me. Hi, I'm Jana and I'm nine years old. And today we're going to show you how to transform a deer head with some metal tape. So stick around and we'll show you exactly how to do it. Hi guys, it's Yano and I'm going to be showing you how to use cardboard. So, you first have to take an A plate and then you have to put a B plate on top. And then you just have to basically choose any like cuddle bug metal holder that you want to do. And then it's going to come out like the shape that it is. And then you have to take um, some metal tape. I'm just going to be showing you guys how it looks from embossed and debossed and then we close it and then you have to put it on the beat plate and then you just put another beat plate on top then you have to make sure it's all lined up and then you put it in it and then we just have to t turn it. You can also roll it back if you want, just to make a better picture. So this is how the debossed one looks. And this is how the embossed one looks. Alright guys, so now that I've showed you how to deboss and emboss, we're just going to do a couple more to cover the moose. Okay, so for the next step in the process, you will need any paper mache design. We chose a deer and then you will, will then you'll take your metal tape designs that are already embossed and you'll cut them into smaller pieces, not much bigger than this. And the reason being that the metal tape is quite fiddly. Okay, you can see that it's double sided. There we go. So we'll just start layering pieces like this and you can start anywhere. You'll also need a paper pencil and what you'll do is you'll just start rubbing it on there, just flattening it out and making sure that your design is nice and flush with your deer head. Okay, so we're going to put the time lapse on. And I'm just going to start layering pieces and we'll show you when we're done. Hi guys, it's Yana and my mum Nanette, and we finally finished the deer. Took us all day. <laughs> um, right, so the last step in this process is we're going to paint it with black poster paint, just normal craft paint, okay, acrylic paint. And what that will do is um, the paint will go and lie in the grooves of our design that we've done on the metal tape and that'll um, just give our project nice definition. So we'll do that, we'll show you how we do it and hopefully we'll be done soon. <laughs> See you in a bit. Guys, the joke of the day is, well, it's kind of a, more of a meme. So this is it. 
Cop pulled me over and said papers. I said scissors and drove off. Right, so our last step is just to wipe off the paint with a paper towel until you like the look of it. So if you like it quite shiny, you're going to take off a lot of paint. And if you like it quite um, rustic, then leave on as much as you like. 